Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do three easy half up half down hairstyles. So I started off by spraying her hair lightly with the spray bottle. And then I'm just going to create a part using the tip of her ear as my guide and I'm going to do a part from ear to ear. And this is what the part looks like. And then I'm just going to put an elastic at the back just to keep the hair out of the way until I'm ready to work with it. And then I'm just going to spray her hair again with the water bottle. I like to keep her hair damp while I'm working with it. And then I'm just going to grab my comb and I'm going to create a part. And as you can see, I'm just using the start of her eyebrows as my guide on both sides. So now we're just gonna create a cornrow with this part, but first I'm gonna use some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste on her edges there before I get that cornrow in there. And then again, I'm just gonna use a bit of the spray bottle and then I'm going to make sure her hair is all nice and detangled before I get that cornrow in. And I didn't braid all the way to the end there. I just braided it all till the end of the part and then I just put an elastic right on the line. And now we're just gonna create two pigtails and I just sprayed her hair with the spray bottle and then detangled it. And then I used some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste on her edges before I got that elastic in there. And then I just did those exact same steps on the other side. So now in these pigtails, I'm gonna create two braids. And then I'm just gonna take one of the braids and I'm going to wrap it around one way. And then I'm gonna take the other braid and I'm going to wrap it around the opposite way. And then I'm just gonna put an elastic there just to hold it, but you can use pins if you like. I ended up having to use a pin anyway, so I probably should have just did that. And then I just did the same thing on the other side. It does look uneven, but I did end up going to fix it later. So now for the back, I use some of the flaxseed gel that I make. If you haven't seen the video for that, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I absolutely love this stuff. It definitely defines her curls. You'll see that at the end. But anyways, what I do is I just grab our spray bottle, spray her hair to get it pretty damp, and then I detangle it. And then I'm going to put some of the flaxseed gel in it. And I'm pretty heavy handed with the stuff. I do make sure that it's all in her hair, every single strand. And then once I make sure that I have every single strand, I'll grab our Demnim brush. I like to use the brush just because it does help to define the curls even more. And I did this throughout her whole, the rest of the hair. And then I'm just finishing off the style with this cute little clip I got from AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the description box for you. And then of course using some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste just to clean up her edges. And there we have it, just a cute, simple, half up, half down hairstyle number one. So for hairstyle number two, we're just gonna create a part right here using the arch of her eyebrow as our guide. And then friends, I didn't do a very good job at showing you what I did here, but I did create another part below that uh, part that we just created. And it's just, you're just gonna make it about a centimeter below the part that was already created and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So this is what you want your part to look like. So now with this part, what we're gonna do is just create a cornrow going from the back to the front and we're just gonna braid it all the way to the end. And now we're just gonna create the exact same braid on the other side. Now I grabbed some bobby pins and what I did was I just grabbed one braid, brought it over to the other side and where that other braid was cornrowed there, I am just going to bobby pin that together so it stays nicely. And then I just did the same thing to the other side. And now we're just gonna take all the hair and see how I'm taking that part of the hair and I'm trying to cover up where those bobby pins are and where the cornrows are made. And then yeah, I'm just gonna grab some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, get those edges. And then I'm just gonna put one of these elastics in it. And then I wanted to make like a nice puff ball bun. So what I did, I just got a little bit of flaxseed gel just to hold some of the flyaways. And then I took the end of her hair as you can see and I kind of wrapped it around my finger and then I took the rest of the hair and just wrapped it all around the ponytail then I grabbed an elastic and just plopped it right on there you can use pins if you like and then I just took the rest of the hair out of the elastic and then lastly I'm just gonna use some of the blueberry bliss control paste on those edges so my friends there you have it hairstyle number two this is definitely my favorite from the three hairstyles
So here we are, hairstyle number three. This will be fast. <laughs> so what I did was I just grabbed some of the spray bottle, sprayed her hair, got it a little bit damp. And then I'm just making sure her hair is all nice and detangled before I get the ponytail in. And then I also use my detangler brush just to smooth out that ponytail. And then I just put the elastic in there and then I just grabbed one of these bun makers. I got this one from Walmart. It's a bit smaller than the ones that I usually use. And then I just sprayed her hair a bit with the spray bottle, made sure it's all detangled. And now I'm spreading her hair evenly all around the bun maker. And then I just grabbed my elastic and I'm just gonna put that over like so. And then all the hair that is left out, I'm just adding some flaxseed gel, making sure that I get all the strands. So with this style, I wanted to make it look like she had bangs. So what I did was I kind of split the hair in the middle as you can see there. And I tried to blend the back part as best as I could with the hair at the back. And I did the exact same thing on the other side. And then I did get some pins so I can pin that part at the back there just so it doesn't move around or try to get in the front. And I was thinking of putting a bow there. It does look kind of cute, but I didn't end up keeping the bow there, but I wish I did actually. Here it is, hairstyle number three. Still wishing I kept that bow in the hair. <laughs> So my friends, there you have it. Another simple, cute hair tutorial you can do on your little cutie's hair. I hope this video got your creative juices flowing. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you friends. Bye.